What is up guys and welcome back to Shadox Tech. Now as you guys can tell from the title of this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix errors 3194 and 21. Now the first step to fixing this problem is to put your iDevice into DFU mode. If you guys don't know how to put your iDevice into DFU mode, I'll put a link below on how to do so. So the first thing that you want to do is go over to your C drive and go to Windows. Scroll down to System 32, Drivers, ETC, and Host. Now open Host with Notepad. See if it went through. There you go. Now at the bottom you should see these two lines and there you go, those two lines right there, just delete that right there. Now copy all of this and create a new notepad. And make sure the notepad is you put run as an administrator. Click yes. Now post or paste it into the new notepad and click file save as now save the file into where we found it at so system 32 drivers etc I'll put this all below if this is going too fast for you guys now we will name it host and we will change the file type as all files there you go now you should see all that and the host file now save it and replace it there you go now when we open up the new host it should be clean right there after you have checked your host file what you guys want to do is update to the latest version of iTunes now just install that and just accept and wait a little while until this completes now after iTunes has been updated it should automatically open since your iDevice is in DFU mode so just click on restore iPhone and let iTunes download and restore your iDevice and I'll come back in 15 to 30 minutes and everything should be good to go and there you have it my iDevice is now restored and three, errors 3194 or errors 21 did not pop up during the process and a lot of people have been asking me why it hasn't been working for them and I've been helping a handful of people with this issue this this method or this way doesn't mean that you can restore to your current firmware whether that be iOS 7, iOS 6 or downgrade back to there because Apple has stopped signing that or previous firmwares so the only firmwares you can restore to is the latest one which requires you to update to iTunes or download the IPSW the current IPSW from a website so with that being said I hope this helps you guys out a lot and message me on Facebook or contact me on YouTube if you guys have a problem let me know Hit the like, comment, and subscribe button if this has helped you guys out. Until next time, peace.